No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey, I'm Ryan with No Film School, and we're here with Alex from 360 Designs, who used the Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera 4K to capture the Oscars in 360. Alex, how did you get involved with using these cameras for uh, 360 degree production? So, uh, it all starts a year ago here at NAB. So, I was at the press conference when Blackmagic announced the Micro Cinema Camera, the Micro Studio Camera. And I have been looking for two years for a camera to build VR rigs around. Uh, and uh, it really kind of just ticks all the boxes. And um, the, you know, the gen lock, the uh, high dynamic range, the small form factor, um, so many different reasons why these are actually really good cameras to build VR rigs around. Well, and the 4K, I imagine, is, is a big part of that in terms of stitching and having the resolution to be able to pan around in, in there. Sure, yeah. So our rigs can work with either the micro cinema camera or the micro studio camera. Uh, each have their own kind of uses. Uh, so the 4K cameras are really great if high resolution is you know, what you're after. Uh, the micro cinema cameras uh, work really well when you are uh, sort of more of a run and gun kind of situation because you've got built-in recording. So you lose a bit on the resolution, but the higher dynamic range, uh, the raw recording internally, uh, you know, has its uses and uh, there's no kind of silver bullet with VR rigs. You designed and built the rig to attach them all and align them yourself or what was that process like? So we build this J-Box that comes with the camera uh, that hooks up to the expansion port of the camera of the Blackmagics and that provides Genlock, it provides power. Uh, we just announced actually a new uh, camera control uh, system. So our new J-Box which is coming out in a few weeks um, actually gives you much more. It, it, um, it has built-in Genlock and it uh, has a Wi-Fi module and uh, comes with an iOS app that lets you control all the cameras from an, I, you know, from, from an app, um, but also hardwired. You can set white balance, you can set shutter angle, these kind of things. Because you need to be able to control all of them at once. All of them at once. And, and that's a lot of the you know, uh, issue with some VR rigs right now. You're going around pressing record, or with uh, you know, cameras, if you need to set the white balance, you end up going around doing them all together. So this really streams, streamlines that makes it a much uh, better overall package for going out and actually shooting in 360. At the, at the moment we're selling the whole package with the lenses, with the cameras, with the, with the frame, with the camera control unit. Um, and that starts at under $10,000 for our three camera version of this. Uh, is that, is, how many degrees does three cameras get you? Uh, that's full, fully spherical. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have about, with the three camera rig, you have, uh, well this is the six camera rig, with the three camera rig, you have uh, 450 degrees of horizontal coverage, approximately, uh, and 380 degrees vertical. So the overlap on vertical is not so important, uh, but overlap on horizontal, you want to have good overlap for stitching. And as you go up in cameras, you gain resolution, you gain uh, better, more seamless images. What is the difference of going from the three to the six? When it comes to the number of cameras, um, if you're using the same lens, having more cameras does not increase the stitch resolution. Hmm. So it's an important point. And what it does give you is it gives you more overlap. So in post-production, for stitching, if you need to do rotoscoping, um, then having that additional overlap is, is really good. So it's a trade-off. A smaller number of cameras. Um, our three camera rig is really built for live 360. Uh, the overlap is less, but you can live stitch it really well. Um, if you, you know, it's more of a sort of uh, cinematic kind of production you're doing, you want to have uh, the latitude to do lots of stuff in post, then the four camera rig is better because it gives you more overlap. And where does somebody go to find out more or purchase the rigs from you? So all, all the information is on our website, it's 360designs.io and uh, we have a ton of stuff on there. We have some sample footage from uh, all our rigs. and. Um, uh, yeah, come check it out, 360designs.io. All right. Thanks, Alex. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Cheers. So we are here with the Diamond Brothers. They are directors, producers, filmmakers, entrepreneurs. They have a VR company called Supersphere VR. And they are here with one of the rigs that we just saw in the previous piece. But in this case, 
you guys are coming at it from a little bit of a different angle. You're storytellers and filmmakers. So which uh, Blackmagic camera is this, and what was it about the cameras that made you think this is the one we should use for, for 360 degrees? These are the studio cameras, which have HDMI and SDI, um, which gives you a little more flexibility when you're, when you're coming up with uh, different recording options. We use the, um, the video sys work great. Uh, those are SDI. The difference is that these don't give you log, they give you like gain up and down. With these handy breakout cables, um, you get Genlock, you get SBUS, you get LANK, you get a lot of things you don't get on power, a lot of things you don't get on uh, smaller cameras of this size. So we also had Switronics make us a custom battery plate with a 4-pin XLR to 12-volt DC power. Uh, so we could power the cameras from one source. So since we're here at the Blackmagic booth, let's let's finish off by talking about what the uh, like what does this camera offer you in that realm in terms of uh, resolution? Like why was it your choice to be walking around with it on this interesting looking rig that you have? Just like with any traditional media, there is no one camera system, edit system, whatever, to rule them all. So you pick the right tool for the right job. Our vibe is we're a creative services agency. We are looking to educate the consumer, but also to create really dynamic stories. And um, we also have some hardware and software plays that we're putting in, into motion um, mid this year. So if someone's interested in working with the Diamond Brothers, either on VR or not, where can they go to find you guys? Uh, they can find us at thediamondbros.com or supersphervr.com.